Yo, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to more Man of Game. It's your boy, Sanchez. You already know here. Giving you some Argent. So, here's my top five decks. Once set two, Revelation comes out. Uh, it's been out for about... Well, not really out. But Sneak Peek's been out for about a few days now. Uh, so, let's start it off. I think we're going to put something over here. Uh, Eaton. Yep, Eaton. I think a mono air list or a mono or air dark list would be really really good including with the new mechs that came out. So pretty much like Yugo, Subaki I think, though I would just put the cards over here again. <laughs> uh, but pretty much those cards work really well with Eaton. Eaton sacrifices a unit, puts a unit cost higher than one unit one unit higher than that so pretty much you sacrifice one bring out a, a unit higher you don't lose board presence with it you don't lose a lot of hand control but you get bigger cards for bigger things so i think it's worth it because the mechs pretty much search themselves out once you sacrifice a smaller one to get the bigger one and you don't run out of gas as quickly as you would in mono air I mean, you can still play the deck, or you can try to go for the time, the infinite turns loop. I feel like that's a really hard thing to do, but you can go for it. So the next deck that I really, really like is called, it's Aragon X whatever. It doesn't matter what, Aragon's just a fantastic leader. The simple fact that you can mill two cards off of your deck and put one on top of your deck, pretty much do infinite amount of plays so Aragon X deck I expect that deck to be really really good especially since Aragon just came back from the balance and it's getting more support in a way <laughs> Aragon's just really really good like I think that leader should be banned or gone or I mean they did come out with hate for it but just because they came out for hate for it, such as what? Uh, Bone Scavenger. They came out with Silver Stone Sentinel. I'll just, again, cards will be here. <laughs> I will post both of them there. Uh, but pretty much, what is it? Bone Scavenger, pay one, expo unit from your opponent's grave, gain 500 counter, and then Silver Sentinel, whenever your opponent activates a champion or a spirit, you could draw one card or expel a unit from their disc. Correction, expel a card from the discard zone. The main things doesn't really do anything. You have to draw those cards to be able to beat that deck. If you don't draw dot cards, you can't really beat it. You have to hope you get it. So, yeah. So, the other deck that I really like is Rain. Why I like Rain is pretty much all the new Blazewalker support. It's a very uh, hype deck. Uh, the reason it's probably going to be very, very good. Some people don't know how to play against it yet. Mm, Rain previously wasn't very good until they came out with Blazewalkers. Blazewalker has a lot of hype to it because, what can I say? You chase the 002 and then you just go plus from the hand with expelling your unit, your blaze walkers from your hand, going plus on board, putting on board presence, and still killing things off and targeting your own things. Rain's pretty good. Uh, I think there's a lot of hype going into it, but what can I say? I haven't really play tested against Rain as much, but. Rain seems like a very good deck. I expected to at least top, top, top 16 at least. And then the only thing is we, we'll see if Rain is really good this coming regionals. I think there is one this coming Saturday in Rhode Island. There we go. And pretty much that's going to define the meta. So everybody's going to be watching that regionals very closely to see what tops, what doesn't, and then that's gonna define what to play against and what not to play against. So the next one is Liam Aron. The they're both kind of like in the same boat for me. The simple fact that they they're both air pretty much. Liam is a little more aggressive. 
Uh, you play Mutation 002. You probably play Mutation 002 in both of them. It's either you play very, very controlling with Aron and you control the board, or you play very aggressive with Liam and you still control the board. Either way, uh, I don't. I do expect a lot from these decks, but I really don't expect a lot from them, especially with Ergon coming back. Like, <laughs> Ergon's just a beast. But they they're pretty pretty solid decks. Iskandar are still good. Uh, coming out with what is it? They came out with Valkyrie this set. They came out with I believe Quake. I don't remember the exact name of it, but Quake is a really good spell card that they got now. And then, what is it? Glory. If you play a lot of one drops, instant KO. And then you have Mutation 002 in, in Liam. But I don't, I don't even, why did I even say that again? <sighs> but those those decks. I, I It's just. With Ergon around, it's just really hard to see those decks really doing well because it's just Ergon dot deck. I mean, Sylvia's not here anymore, so Ergon Sola, and then throw in Gears and play Iskandar and, and Mutation 002. I mean, there's so much you can do. Next one I feel is Hoanna. Hoanna is a slowed down Ergon that doesn't do the same exact thing. Uh, depending on your build and how you like to play it, Hoanna does everything that Ergon can do, but slower because it doesn't put things to the top of the deck. Uh, but it does generate pluses. Uh, I can see this deck doing pretty well. It depends if Ergon is as dominant as I think it's going to be. I feel that Ergon's really, really good. Ergon, that deck. <laughs> but... Hoanna has a really good chance. Hoanna does what Aragon does, but at a slower pace because it doesn't mail. So you have to play like cards like Shrieker. You have to play card. Oh, I don't know the name of the new card that mails. It's on the tip of my tongue too. Uh, I'll just put it here. It's gonna be here. Don't even worry about it. But I feel those are like the top five decks. Um. I, just an honorable mention, Jamayo. I'm not trying to say that deck won't be any good, but I think this format is going to be very, very aggressive. And playing a control, if you're not playing a control variant of an aggressive deck, you won't really have a lot of chances because I feel Ancient Serpent's Breath way too early where you're bouncing certain cards and shard draining isn't going to be really good. But that's just my opinion. Don't take it as a fact. <laughs> but we do, I don't know. Uh, maybe Jamal Luna still might be good. And then, yeah. And then you also have... Uh, what's that card? What's that card? The Elemental. The, the new Dark Elemental. I'll just, again, right here. <laughs> it's going to pop up. Card That card's amazing. Uh, in, especially in Jamal. Draw two, discard it. Bring it back. Same thing. Expel seven units. Uh, I don't like. I don't feel like there is enough support for the Phantasmias. Uh, the Phantasmias to me, I feel like there aren't enough witches that give it enough support. I feel like you need maybe two or three more much better witches. The witches that are out now aren't that amazing, at least to me. Might get proven wrong this Saturday. Hopefully I end up going to the regionals this Saturday. Get you guys some deck profiles. But other than that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you see any of the cards you guys liked in the video. Use the TCG affiliate link down below. It doesn't cost you anything to use. Just use, uh, use it. Buy cards. We get a small commission from it. It helps support the channel. And hope, helps us bring more content. Great content for you guys. Alright, so peace.